How's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another video on the channel and we just got off the live stream. Go check it out on my channel where we showed all the reveals from uh, Yugi tubers around the world getting a first look at the new set Magnificent Mavens coming out November 3rd which is very very close to Darkwing Blast and I gotta say that this set might be the best set of the year. One of the best reprint sets in a very long time and I think this is because of the fact that we didn't get a maximum gold this year this essentially kind of replaces the maximum gold set which we've seen to be a really really good reprint set usually uh, in El Dorado and in the original maximum gold it was a big reprint set but the rarities were kind of like man you know nobody really actually liked the gold ultra rare so now we're getting a really really good reprint set so yeah, let's just jump into the card pool I'm gonna be pulling uh, a few images here and there to show you from a few videos that were posted first of all we are getting all of the Stri sky striker cards uh you can see here that we're getting the hemp which is the new kaiju we're getting the aileron which was um it's the level one sky striker the new support card which was a promo it wasn't in the original shiny box where the linkage and the hemp were released but we are getting it and of course we're getting sky striker mobilized linkage then we're getting ray and all of the links including Zeke, which is really good. We're getting Engage, Widow Anchor, Shark Cannon, and Multi-Roll. And we are also getting a few tokens here. And Sky Striker Ace token is an ultra rare in this set, which is amazing. Then we have all the Mayakashi stuff. Um, then we have the Ishizu cards. There we go. Uh, we got the four uh, level fours, uh, the, the Earth Fairies that are absolutely, absolutely going to break the game. We have the Gravekeeper's Trap, the Exchange of Despair and Hope, and we also have the exchange of the spirit which obviously is going to be reprinted in this set because it directly supports the ishizu cards then we we got the whole sword soul package every sword soul card is in here um i, th I think all of them are, are in here right we got assessment black and ant stripe we got sacred summon we got everything so this core uh, also the iris soul soul which is uh, really amazing and uh it's gonna be a really cheap core then we have some nice reprints. We have Yadagarasu as an Ultra. BLS, Envoy of the Beginning, is here. Doom Doos, those are Mizuki. Chaos Hunter is an amazing reprint. This has been gaining popularity as of recently, and it's now an Ultra in the set. Beautiful Prince is actually funny. This is a Primal Origins rare, which was $15 to $25 over the last, like, six months, I would say. Getting a reprint here also Pretty, pretty amazing. The, the Swords of Ecclesia that was in the tins is getting one as well. Then we have two Therion cards. And we actually have four Dimension Force, which was a um, pretty new set. Four commons from uh, Dimension Force are getting a reprint here. So we got Bull and Duke as uh, reprints. Elder Entity Ents as an Ultra. It's very good. Millennium Eyes Restrict. I think this is one of the most incredible reprints. This card has been expensive. It was hyped before um, Tier Limits came out. It didn't really see any play, but now it's getting an Ultra. We got the Predaplant uh, Common Fusion, the Instant Fusion Target from Dimension Force getting an Ultra. Cat Shark, really cool. Totally awesome is here. So obviously Konami banning Ronin Toad is not totally awesome because it was probably scheduled for a reprint here. We got the Onibamaru which was also a common in Dimension Force. This is the last one from Dimension Force. Getting an Ultra upgrade. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but this is very cool. I don't know how they exactly like chose the specific four cards out of Dimension Force, but it's here. We got Nybert Severus and Phoenix. Boral Sword Dragon is here. The original art is an Ultra. We got the Soldier of Chaos, which is a very expensive card. It was a Secret Rare in ba ba Battles of Legend. Um, I don't remember which one but it was a very expensive secret rare, then it was also an ultimate rare, so it's very cool to see it here, we knew this was coming to the set. Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess, the alternate artwork from the uh, Maximum Gold set is here as an ultra. Harpies, Feather Duster, Scapegoat, and Change of Heart. So this is the, the alternate art Harpies Feather Duster, and these three, absolutely huge. I'm really, really loving this. Um, this set has, as you can see, I'm going almost over every card. Every card is really cool here. And yeah, Change of Heart as an Ultra, it hasn't gotten a reprint in a very long time. So this was much needed. Legendary Ocean getting its first holographic reprint. Instant Fusion, the only Ultra up until now was Raw Yellow Mega Pack, and we have it here as well. 
Fuller's Return, Pendulum Call, very, very cool. And then we have Lightning Storm, which was just released in the tins. We have Triple Tactics Talent as well. And we also have, surprisingly, Draco Back the Rattable Dragon, the equip card for the Adventure Package. Um, it's here as an Ultra. So apparently we got that as well. Then uh, for more trap cards, and the trap cards are actually insane here, Anti-Spell, which was just released as a rare. Skill Drain, absolutely amazing. We got the Light and Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, which get their first holographic reprint. Goes and match, evenly matched, Infinite Impermanence, and Ice Dragon's Prison. Absolutely huge. I mean, this is a very, very good set from Konami. This is an absolute home run, and we got the Dark Soul token and another G Golem token, which G Golem cards aren't even out in the TCG yet. Then it says here, this is the organization, by the way, um, there's a bunch of cards beyond 103, but they're all Pharaoh's rare and are extremely difficult to pull chase cards. Over 20 bucks was open on videos and only one appeared. And this was the True Name, which is a God Card support card. And from the video, it was on Top Box channel, um, MSTTV, of course. It was... Uh, it might have been a misprint, as far as I'm concerned, because it had secret rare lettering, um, but it also had the ultra rare foiling with, uh, with uh, the little hieroglyphic uh, markings from uh, the Pharaoh's rare rarity. And we've seen this kind of misprint in King's Court when Slifer was released, having this secret rare lettering instead of an ultra rare lettering, which was confirmed to be a misprint. So, what do you think about this set? Leave it down in the comments. I think this is... a absolutely a home run from konami this is absolutely amazing a lot of very very good cards in here and uh we got two display cases to open in the channel once this once uh, this releases and uh if you do want to get this product already make sure you head over to tier zero games.com and use the code galzo5 at checkout to get five percent off your next purchase and uh, I would say absolutely get this set this is gonna be so fun to open and one thing we haven't mentioned still is that you also get sleeves. You got six types of sleeves, uh, two for Sky Strikers, two for Mayakashis, and two for Witchcrafters. So definitely a very good holiday box indeed. Thank you for watching as always. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you liked it and subscribe if you are new. Head over to Tier Zero Games if you wanna pick this up as well and use code GALZO5 at checkout. Thank you as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.